What is happening, y'all? Welcome. I'm back, and we are ready to continue. So I've gone ahead and upgraded this as high as I can. It's up to plus eight. Uh, could be... I mean, could be better. Uh, but we are a little bit short on chunks, which we'll get those in another area. Uh, as for the gems, I got a physical 21, a attack up 23, and attack up 15. So I did jump into the chalices to, to pick up uh, those first two. I think I actually had the 21, but I had to go into a chalice to get the, the 23.4. Um, and then as for the... The, uh, or no, no, I had that one, I think. I don't know, maybe I did. Anyway, I need to get another uh, one of these, but the attack up's not bad since it's going to boost both arcane and physical. So, uh, that's the big difference with attack versus physical attack. But anyway, all that aside, uh, we are hitting this and warping to the underground corpse pile. Now, we're going to be going after Lawrence in this episode, but there are. A couple of things we need to do first, uh, namely we need to actually unlock him as a boss. Uh, so, first thing we're doing, creepy head. You can keep talking to the head if you want for even more dialogue. Uh, there's some vials, yes, vials. And we're gonna head this way. Um, this guy we'll get later. You can ignore him for now, he just kind of babbles in here for a cold blood there's a bunch of doors here right now that are locked that we can't get into don't worry about them we'll unlock all that stuff later show you our new sword look at that look at the stun on it Wow! Wow! Uh, down here is Brador. We can't do anything with him just yet, so don't worry about it. Um, you can go down. Well, I guess we can go down and talk to him. I don't think this dialogue has any impact, but uh, basically, if you he asks if you hear the bell, if you tell him you do, he calls you a liar. Liar, such pettiness. Blah 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 blah. So anyway. Um, if you hear him, if you say, you know, no, I don't hear the bell, he's like, oh, okay, that's what I thought. Uh, but anyway, he is a guy that'll try to hunt you down a little bit later. And here for the Fists of... No, not in here, it's the next door. Yeah, there we go. Fist of Gradium. Uh, so let's see, Colt Bled, those two, Path Down, Talk to Braider, Fist of Gradia, head on out and up. And then we're going to go behind to kill the two rats. Yeah. As you'll notice, that actually costs bullets to do. No, it hits really hard, but... Really, really strong on builds that actually, like, focus and level arcane up all the way. There's our first chunk. Pretty soon. Like, I'm literally... I needed, what was it, eight chunks to get this thing leveled up? I'm at six. I may have two more coming up. Um, so for this next part... What you want to do is... Over here... For a Great One's Wisdom... And then there's two different NPCs. There's one up there, the church lady. And then there's another one that's, like, hiding off to the side here. So what you want to do is just lure this one back. Uh, I would not recommend fighting them at the same time. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Yusufka. But she has Yusufka's moveset. Uh, but lure this guy on down. Dookie. Mm. You didn't try to shoot me there. That would've sucked. Now with that one dead, killing the second one is uh, significantly easier. The second one is like a caster, so you can just kind of bonk her around. Well, of course that's assuming you don't get hit by the, the casts, but much easier than fighting the, the other hunter. 
So go ahead and take her on out and pick up the bullets. Um, now after this, let's see, um, go to the elevator, kill the church hunter by cutting her down, kill the caster. We're going to go over here and insert the eye into the elevator. Um, just hit start. The elevator is going to take us up top and we have a new lantern. Uh, now while we're here, real fast, um, before we do, oh, what was that? Recording software blipped for a second. Uh, before we do Lawrence, I'm gonna go kill some skitters real fast. Now there's actually a farm with these guys, where if you don't pick up the uh, chunks off those corpses, you can infinitely farm them. So just food for thought. Um, I've never done it. I usually like know what weapons I'm gonna do uh, to begin with, but the glitch is like basically running from these skitters to the other skitters back and forth, and you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, and you don't pick up anything, and then eventually when you do loot them, you get, like, everything. Like, you get, like, multiple instances of double chunks, so. Um, go on here, we're gonna ride this on down. Playing, uh, some elevator games. And if you can't beat Lawrence here, you know, no worries. Um, I think a lot of people consider Lawrence to be one of the harder bosses in the game. Go ahead and let that go up, and then we're just gonna chill for a second. And Lawrence's skull. And now, we're gonna do this. And go down. the church cannon. So now that we got all that stuff, oh, I don't have a bold hunter mark. Alright, well, we're just gonna take this up and leave the old-fashioned way. Um, now that we've done all that, the next thing to do would be to go for Lawrence. So, uh, we're just gonna run, run down, as opposed to, well, I guess, I don't know. This might be faster. I don't know if it's faster. We'll just call the elevator, and we'll get on it. One more elevator ride. Uh, so... <clears throat> to talk a little bit about Lawrence. Lawrence is a very beefy boss. Um, one of the highest health pools in the game. In fact, if, we're, if we are looking at strictly trophy-based bosses, given this is DLC, so you don't need it for Platinum, uh, the only boss, I believe, that is comparable to Lawrence... Are you not starting? Come on. There we go. Uh, ...is some of the Chalice bosses, like the final depth Chalice bosses. Uh, this guy, it's like, I think it's 25k health. Uh, he does fire damage. You want to use either Arcane or Bolt to get your damage in. Uh, either or works. Um, fire resist set is really good, so we're going to swap over to that. Now, a big thing to do here is he's going to do these big gaping swings. And you want to dodge, but you want to consistently dodge at like a 45 degree angle. And ideally, you want to dodge into the swing, which should put you just underneath his arms. Bum ba da bum. Let's see how's the AR look on it. Seven twenty five. Very nice. I'll try it out in the fight. Um, now another thing I want to touch. This also isn't related to the platinum, but another thing added with the DLC uh, was a special thing here, uh, and you can get a vermin if you go ahead and you kill him with a particular summon. So basically, every time Voltier helps fight, um, which you can summon Voltier for this fight with the Impurity Rune, you can get a Vermin. If you get five Vermin, you can then give them to Voltier. He leaves, a Hunter shows up, and you can get a Hunter's tool called the Madras Whistle. It summons up snakes. Uh, it's, I mean, you can also get Vermin just doing PvP, but otherwise, you're going to have to do this fight uh, with him. And then I believe you get... I think I'm, I'm actually missing a Vermin on this this character, which is weird because we've done, let me confirm here, yeah, the three hunters each drop a vermin, the boom hammer, the scythe, and then, uh, the whirligate hunter, we grab those, one vermin can be obtained by slaying Ludwig with Voltir, 
provided Voltaire survives, which he did. And another one can be obtained with Lawrence if Voltaire survives. So I'm not sure. I, I must have just not picked it up. Because uh, we've killed those hunters. And uh, anyway, I'm one vermin short. But you can do that online. If you have the impurity rune, let me go ahead and just put that on. Just to, to show how the fight would go with him. Um, as for our other stuff here, I would suggest a communion. Uh, that's fine. And then for our other one, probably guidance for more rally potential here. As for armor, um, you just want max fire resist. So chard. You can see old hunter is slightly better in some instances. Um, and over here. There we go. And we want to go to the Hunter's Nightmare. Definitely worth taking this guy out, though. You get a really nice rune for doing it. Oh, shit. I did not grab the vial. That's okay. I'll, there's, I'll kill him on the... I'll kill the guy on the way up and get the vials that way. Uh, but so we're just going to go this way. Pretty much run straight on up to that cathedral from before. And go ahead and ignore these guys. There's uh, the tentacle man right before we get to the fight. So if we use a uh, vial here or there, it's going to be fine. in here, bigums. Oh shit. Okay, this is going sloppy. We might not be killing Lawrence this episode if I'm getting dunked on by this thing. some other NPCs. I want to say there's one other NPC you can bring to this fight. Um, similar to Ludwig. This is the only summon I would recommend. Um, the reason being that every time you bring a summon, the boss's health is going to go up. And Valtier, with his Whirly Gig Saw, is one of the only ones that I would actually trust in a fight like this to get in some damage. So we're actually going to be... Let me check some stuff here. Got my bolt paper on. Okay. I got my vial... I'm going to be testing out how much damage I'm getting with uh, this first, and I might be switching. This will probably go sloppy as hell. It's a hard fight. It's a really hard fight. But this fight activates now because we have the, the skull. World 49. Oh yeah, 739, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Staying behind him is good. Ideally, you want to be like opposite of Voltaire. So if Voltaire is on one side, you're getting on the other side. I've never done this with uh, this Ludwig setup and Voltaire. And man, we are just going to town on him right now. But the thing is, this is Lawrence's uh, 
Uh, there's no, oh my god, see, as you can see, it just took like half a second and suddenly most of my health is gone. And Valtir is gonna die. So about 50%, he goes into this form. And now he's gonna spit lava if you get too far away, so you don't wanna run up on him. Similar to before, we wanna stay at about a 45 degree angle. We wanna be careful of the lava poops. And when he decides to, to try and spit, that's when you wanna try and get to his side and do a big charged attack and hit him. So where we're at, we might be able to bait the lava spit. There we go, he's spitting. Attack him. Watch out for the lava. You can get yourself like kind of caught there. And keep yourself at full health here because he can slam down his hand and do a lot of damage. This is part of the reason that I, I emphasized how important it was for us to farm for the DLC. That fight actually was a hell of a lot cleaner than I expected it to be. And we got the vermin and the beast embrace rune. I wonder why we didn't get, or what vermin I missed. I do not remember missing a vermin. Well, anyway, let's warp on back. We're going to switch our runes around and up next. We got the research hall. We can get that started this episode, I think. And then uh, knock it out, finish it off in the next episode. It's a pretty long area. Uh, but the rune we got from him is actually really nice for certain builds. It will give you a unique transformation. Beast head, which is pretty cool. Uh, on top of that, of course, it gives you a temporary boost to transform. And probably the most significant thing is when you have this on, you unlock a unique move set uh, that you gain access to for the beast claws. So running that rune along with a beast claw will allow you to... Uh, be this this crazy beast man, which is pretty cool. Really cool in my opinion. Anyway, with him dead, now we can go back this way and we'll go to the research hall. Uh, this area, oh yeah, we can definitely get started on this research hall. It's pretty lengthy and it culminates in two bosses. One boss and then a boss right after that boss. Right, so we already uh, showed off the two skitters that were here. Uh, right over here is some blue elixirs that you can grab. Get out of the poison pool. There's really no point in killing these guys. They're passive. They're not going to do anything. Uh, this is a shortcut over here that we'll be able to unlock a little bit later. You can ignore it for now. Instead, we're going to head on up, and we're going to kill some plop-plops. I don't know what they're actually called, but uh, they become plop-plops. Take the left path first. Some of the plip plops like to rush at you. Nothing a quick parry can't handle. Just be careful on these guys. Um, now there's a lot of traps here like this. A floor trap and it'll make... It'll make, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, the, the centerpieces explode and spit acid all over. Which they can actually hurt a lot. There's another one right here. Be a little careful fighting this guy because you can actually knock him down and he survives. We don't want that. Kill him. We can kill you. You wait. Some of them have interest to like just little dialogues, but nothing special. Um, let's see. Map match knowledge. Second trap. We did right. Nora, kill lady. Drop down and head down. Top path has two rats. This is the shortcut room for now. Hang on. Did I, why did I not write this in my notes yet? I'm um, going go outside for another passive and continue along to the end for loop. Back to the mid and open the door. Oh, 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 oh. Go outside for the passive first. This way. 
No, not this way. Where's the... Hang on. What the... Drop down and a head down. Top path has two rats. Well, I don't know why I skipped this in my notes, but this is a shortcut room. We can come in here and kill these guys now. It just makes more sense. We're going to come uh, come here a little bit later. But <clears throat> we'll, we'll get them out of the way now. So that they don't try to gun us later. And the beast blood pellets. They drop bullets. This is the elevator. We'll go ahead and get this started. We're going to pop up here a, lot, a bit later. I'm just getting this... Getting ahead of ourselves a little bit, but that's fine. We'll open up this shortcut. So, there's an NPC over there. Don't worry about her for now. We don't have the things she needs. Just open this up. And then we can go ahead and hit that. Okay. Shortcut acquired. We can head this way. Uh, this is going to be a dead end, but if we go, some rats will drop down. So. Instead, we want to take this lower path. All this down. And then we go outside. Another passive guy out here just playing with the sunflowers. Go ahead and kill him. It's 600 echoes, you know. I can't just let that go. Uh, we go to the end for loot, and then okay, I see what I did with my notes. Ow! Stop that. Frenzy. Got the vials. And then this would have popped us up top into that room uh, that had all these guys, which we just killed them to make things a little bit easier. Okay, um, do, 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 back up, open the door, and head on down the other path from the start. Okay. From here, we'll just go this way. We're going to take this other path. Scroll my notes a little bit here. Um, kill the gunner and two gunners' pallets. Talk to the lady. Ah, what the hell? Get out of here. Always, always when I'm looking at notes. Okay. Anyway, head on up here. Ignore this room for now. We don't want to go in there. Instead, we're going to come and attack that room from behind, basically. And grab this. A couple enemies are going to, like, meander down here real slow. Don't worry about them. Once you're inside here, you'll be fine. Kill them. I believe that's it. Okay, up here, we are going to have a Thrasher. These guys are really dangerous. I'd suggest trying to get off a gun parry. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a weapon that's heavy enough to stun them. They are not fun. Very, very angry, very aggressive. And they hurt a lot if they hit. Not fun. 
I'm gonna have the blood vials. Um, go left and plunge to clear out the plip plop. She'll find sedative downstairs. Okay. So you can see a bunch of guys here. I don't know. Do I have any? Uh, I do. Let's toss some Molotovs down. That's not gonna work. There we go, that worked. Go this way first for more. some loots those are sedatives and the only thing left may have been those enemies that were patrolling we'll just peek out to take a quick look <laughs> oh my god oh Christ of all the we, we just smoothly went through all of this only to die to, to that of all things uh, we, well, we were just about at a shortcut to wrap up, too. We're going to push on to to that shortcut. But, God, that... Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. I guess it, it's good to die every now and again, because then I can show you all how to deal with it. question is who has my echoes one of the enemies in this room you can see thrust attacks work very well here Seriously, who has the echoes? Hand him over. He had the echoes. And you can kind of see why I didn't want to go this way. It's just there's just bullshit on top of bullshit uh, approaching this room from that angle. Anyway, though, back up top we go. Take this upper path here, and then get this to open this door, and then uh, here, grab this guy. Ignore that for now, instead go this way. Bullets. I believe that's it here. Let me see. Um, go right, swing in a room for a damp gem. Then out here. There's a dirty damp gem. This is the room where we are fighting Crazy Boy. 
Um, afterwards, up the stairs, then down the stairs, up the stairs, down the stairs, straight, activate the elevator for a new shortcut. Okay. So, there, just run this way, up the stairs, down the stairs, and straight. And now we have the second part of the elevator for the elevator room. Um, so this is a good spot to kind of take a break. Um, you know, whether you're actually like pushing through this in full or whatever the case is, because as you'll notice, we actually get quite a bit of echoes going through this. So, you know, we're up to 118,000 echoes already. So we're going to actually warp on out from here. <clears throat> as you can see, it's very, very easy to return to where we came from. And we'll wrap things up. So in the next episode, we are going to finish up this area and more than likely fight the living failures and Maria of the clock tower. So stay tuned. I will catch you all soon enough as we continue.